Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the PALS Armchair Gala. I'm Fred Lee, and I am thrilled to be your host tonight. We are so pleased to have you join us for our first ever virtual gala. Whether you are like me in your tuxedo, or perhaps your party dress, or you're wearing your favorite pair of jeans, Lulu's, or even your PJs, I'm talking to our friends in Ontario. Thank you so much for staying up. You all look fabulous. Tonight is an opportunity to connect and celebrate PALS Autism Society, PALS Adult Services Society, and the entire community as a whole. We will also be raising much needed funds for our students, adult participants, and all the programs at PALS and PASS. Tonight, I am coming to you live from the Sutton Place Hotel in downtown Vancouver. I want to acknowledge the hotel is situated on the ancestral, unceded, traditional territories of the Musqueam, Squamish, and tsleil nations. I also want to acknowledge the ancestral lands on which you are viewing us from tonight. As some of you may know, April is Autism Awareness Month. No better time to be together as we share with you some incredible stories of growth, hope, and resilience. We have a packed program ahead. It includes a musical performance from our PALS students and a visit from a very special, and I mean very special, celebrity guest. You'll have to stay tuned to find out who this individual is. Whether you're near or far, please sit back in your armchair or your couch and enjoy the next hour. We invite all of you to use the chat feature. I know many of you already have. Say hello and tell me where you're watching us from or what PALS means to you. I see already we have many viewers from the Lower Mainland. Hello, Port Moody. Hello there, New Westminster. Amir is watching from Vancouver. We have someone from Cloverdale. We have folks from the Bahamas. We have folks from the Bahamas. That is absolutely incredible. I know we also have folks watching us from Hamilton, Ontario, from Toronto. Hello, folks, as well as individuals and families from San Francisco. This is truly amazing. We invite you all to continue chatting. You're amongst our PALS community. And thank you again for carving out the time. OK, first up. It is a pleasure to introduce my co-host for the evening, my very dear friend, Global News Evening anchor, Sophie Louie. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2021 PALS Armchair Gala. And this year, maybe you really are watching from an armchair or a couch in your very own home. Tonight, we are all here to support PALS Autism Society and PALS Adult Services. And we're so thankful to you for being a part of this special evening. Of course, just like everything else this year, we are doing things just a little bit differently tonight. Case in point, I'm going to start things off with some technical tips. Not something I would normally get into at a gala, but it's an unprecedented year, so we're just going to roll with it. So what we recommend that you do is watch tonight on a laptop or a desktop. Use an actual computer and use the Google Chrome browser. And make use of that chat functionality to the right of your screen. If you have been watching from your mobile device up until now, now is the time to switch over to a computer if you can. And then keep your smartphone handy to access the fundraising website at palsgala.com. Now, if at any point during the evening you require tech support, click on the Need Some Help button below. That's your IT help button. If the live stream freezes, try refreshing the page or re-entering the virtual platform and we'll see if that makes things better for you. Over the course of the next hour, you will hear from key members of the PALS community, including families and students as we amplify their voices and shine a little light on how your donations will help PALS continue providing world-renowned education and life-changing support to children, teens, and adults on the autism spectrum. I'm so honored to be a part of this event that supports such a worthwhile cause. 
Autism spectrum disorder now affects about one in 54 children, and we see it in all racial, ethnic, and socioeconomic groups. Many of you have joined us tonight because autism is in your life, and that's why I'm here too. It's part of my family as well. You already know the unique strengths and differences autism gives your child, your grandchild, your neighbor, your friend, your niece or your nephew. However, by the end of tonight's gala, I hope we're able to bring even more awareness, acceptance and action to the cause so that everyone else tuning in has a better understanding of the challenges and celebrations that come with the autism diagnosis. It's these lifelong challenges of autism that brings families to PALS, their child's difficulties with social skills, repetitive behaviors, and communication are often too great for other schools to manage, resulting in the child being asked not to attend. As a ministry-designated special education school, PALS Autism School goes above and beyond what regular non-designated schools can offer. They provide individualized, intensive instruction by qualified experts. But while that designation does come with some additional funding from government, it's not enough to cover the cost of PALS evidence-based year-round support, and families are left to find ways to make up the difference. Unfortunately for some, that may not be financially feasible. So tonight, we ask that you donate to supplement student bursaries, specialized therapies, unique technologies, and the expert staff needed to keep PALS operational, thus allowing both our students and our adult participants to meet their extraordinary goals. Use your phone to scan the QR code below by opening up your camera function and focusing on the code. And that will take you to palsgala.com. That's where you can donate, check on your existing auction bids and make new auction bids, pledge to fund a therapy and purchase your 50-50 raffle tickets. Please note the 50-50 ticket sales will stop at 8 p.m. and Fred will be announcing the winner at 8.25. The auction will close at 9.30 p.m. Good luck to everyone who's entered the 50-50 raffle and also for the bidding wars that I'm sure will happen. Every dollar is appreciated, so please be generous with the donations and let's accomplish what we came together to do tonight, supporting PALS and all the children, teens and adults alike. Thank you and enjoy your evening. Thanks, Sophie. Well said. Can I just say, we have a global community tuning in tonight. We have folks watching us from Cabo San Lucas. Hopefully you're on a beach. Uh, we have friends from Kelowna. And uh, it's just wonderful to see all of you joining us this evening. Let's talk about that 50-50 raffle where the winner takes half. The jackpot is currently at $21,850, $21, $21,850. So doing some quick math, that means one lucky person ends tonight with an extra $10,000 and some change in their pocket. You do not wanna miss out on your chance to win, so get your tickets now. Just to remind you, sales for the 50-50 tickets, as Sophie mentioned, ends at 8 p.m. tonight, which is less than 30 minutes. So make sure you act quickly, buy your tickets now. Tickets are 10 for $20, 30 for $50, 100 for 100. Remember, the more you purchase, the more pals and pass wins. And of course, you'll have more money in your pocket. I will be announcing the winner at the end of the program this evening. If you haven't already, make sure you also check out our fabulous online auction. There is more than 100 items listed at palsgala.com. Personally, I am loving all the food, wine, and spirits. I think I might be even, um, I might even be in one of those bidding wars that Sophie mentioned. Speaking of food and wine, who's enjoying the charcuterie package that was curated by our good friends at the Vancouver Convention Center? Can I just say it looks delicious? Uh, thank you to the VCC for your support and contributions. Okay, so we wanna know, uh, since we have this lively chat going, what has everyone been binging on during the pandemic? 
I know for me and my husband, it's been Netflix and admittedly wine. Uh, please type into the chat what your favorite snack has been. And I like to think wine is a snack. Are you the sweet or savory type? What did everyone have for dinner tonight? Uh, please share with us. <laughs> Tina Chow says, I'm just shopping. Shop, shop, shop. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of online shopping as well. And I hope all of you who are watching are doing some online shopping right now. I agree with Cindy. We've been watching a lot of Netflix. If there is a show that you can recommend to me, please do so. I feel like I've watched every single series. Anyways, continue that chat online and uh, we'll check in throughout the evening. Uh, Speaking of that auction, it closes at 9.30 this evening. Uh, and of course, you won't win if you don't bid. So please bid and bid often. Please take the time to have a look at the amazing items our gala committee has curated for all of you. And of course, if auction items are not your thing, you can simply make a donation. As someone who has attended many PALS galas, I know how generous this community is. We have set our sights tonight on raising $200,000, $200,000. But I would absolutely love to see us meet and exceed that number this evening. Really, no gifts are too big or too small. And of course, you will benefit from tax time, but more importantly, PALS will benefit starting tonight. So please, if you are feeling inspired at any point throughout the evening, even now, don't wait to make that gift. Make it now. All right. It is now my pleasure to introduce someone who really needs no introduction. No, it's not our celebrity guest yet. You'll have to wait a little longer. But I have known this amazing woman for many years now. With this being my, it's hard to believe, it's my eighth year involved with the PALS Gala. I really feel like I've been along on this incredible journey. And I know many of you watching have been as well. Please welcome Kati Harandi, President and Chair of the PALS Autism Society. Hello everyone, and welcome to the 14th Annual PALS Gala. Thank you for being here with us at this virtual event. Although virtual, there has been a tremendous amount of planning to make this evening possible. I would like to take a moment to acknowledge all of the gala volunteers and the countless hours they devote to ensure every detail of this event is taken care of. We could not do it without them, so from the bottom of my heart, thank you. In 2007, a group of moms with children with autism dreamed this dream would not have become a reality without the help of a dedicated staff who stepped up to help us with this endeavor. The staff at both programs are angels who work tirelessly to ensure our programs run smoothly and our children are taught the skills they lack. A bundle of gratitude to all our staff in both programs. The PALS school opened its doors with only 10 students in a commercial office space on East Pender. Three years later, the adult program opened its door with an overwhelming response from the community. As these two programs grew in numbers and responsibilities, the need to have a separate governance structure became apparent. And in July of 2020, the PALS Adult Services Society obtained its separate charity status. Now we call the Kids School Program PALS and the Adult Program and its related activities PASS. PALS School operates out of New Westminster in a building we own, but financed with a mortgage. And PASS Adult Program moved to a new lo location recently on East 1st and Main in Vancouver. The social enterprise also operates out of the PASS location. And we are expanding the programs to include a housing initiative for our adults with autism, thanks to a major funder who made it possible. 
It's an exciting future ahead for both programs. A special thanks to both boards of directors for their commitment and dedication. But our programs have high costs and the need for contribution is as great as ever. I do not know what tomorrow will hold, but I know we must continue to move forward. For growth is the acceptance and understanding of the ever-changing needs of our students, of our adult participants, their families, and our society as a whole. Your generous contributions tonight are needed and appreciated. Thank you again for your continued support, your trust, and believe in what we do. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy, for everything that you do to continue pushing forward this message of awareness and acceptance. I also want to echo her comments and say again, to all the amazing volunteers who have made this event possible, our first ever virtual gala. A few of them are in our studio right now at the hotel. I know many of you are watching at home, just beaming with pride. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your work and hours. They are truly appreciated. I do recall, as I said, um, Earlier, I have been with PALS uh, now for some eight years, and I have attended and participated in some of the most amazing events put on by our volunteers and led by Katy and her team. With this being our 14th annual PALS Gala, I want to hear from all of you, which was your favorite? I know many of you viewing have been watching and I mean, have been attending our PALS Galas in the past. Did you have a favorite party, a favorite party theme? Do we remember OPA, that fabulous Greek party? Literally, dishes were being crushed on the floor as we danced and celebrated uh, the entire evening. There were others. Remember, we went to London. London was calling. We went to Paris, French Kiss, for that amazing event. Did you have a favorite? I'm just looking right now. Oh, Christine Chung, she loved OPA. Yes, that was one of my fond, uh, I had many fond memories of that party. Uh, Cindy, for her, it was Paris. Who doesn't love Paris? I'm sending you French kisses, Cindy. Thank you so much. Um, God, geez, I forgot we met the queen. There were quite a few queens at that London calling party. I, I do seem to recall, I may have been one of them. I do recall actually sitting at the Queen's table. Anyways, so many fond memories and I can't wait when we have the opportunity, and I know we will, come together, share a meal in person and enjoy another one of these fabulous events. But can I say how much fun I'm having tonight? Our first ever virtual gala and you are with us. Thank you to our global community. Okay, now, I'm gonna take uh, some time and make another reminder because you don't wanna forget about our 50-50 draw. Uh, we are closing that sharp at eight o'clock. So uh, please, you only have a few minutes left before it closes at 8 p.m. While Kathy was speaking, I did have a quick look at the online auction to see how uh, some of the bids were doing. Uh, do you know how hard it is to host and bid at the same time? But I am loving every minute of this and more bids means more great news for pals. So keep going, everyone. There's amazing items to be had. Thank you to Sandy, Jessica, um, and Leslie, they're just the latest who have made bids on their favorite packages. I have the privilege of seeing the leaderboard in front of me and it is active. It is going through the roof right now. Please keep those bids and donations coming in. All right, uh, I do wanna highlight uh, a few of the items, if I may. Um, first, there is that delicious painting by Anne Goldberg. Thank you so much for your contribution, Anne. What you might not know about her is that before becoming an artist full-time, she achieved a degree in mathematics and fine arts and then studied and practiced as an architect in Vancouver for 10 years. 
with this gorgeous painting, or should I say delicious painting, you really can have your cake and eat it too. Well, maybe not eat it, but you certainly can enjoy it from your home or office. The second item that I want to highlight that really caught my eye is this totally gorgeous handmade wool and, wool and silk blend area rug. It's called, wait for it, and I love the name, White Phantom. What a great name. For such an incredibly beautiful piece, it's right now going for a great price. And bonus, even if this isn't quite the right size or color, I am told you're able to go to the store and pick out whatever you want. So please, I urge you not to miss out on this incredible opportunity. And finally, what kind of host would I be if I did not highlight the artwork by the students and staff of PASS? Just reading the description gives me the chills. The painting represents the individual and collective growth that everyone experiences differently, yet shares together in the world. It's just beautiful and means so much, especially right now. So please, do not miss out on bidding for this very special item. Another reminder that bidding for this virtual auction closes tonight at 9.30, so make sure to get your name on the board. Thank you, Sandy, you've just bid. Thank you again for everyone that is making bids right now. This is amazing. And yes, more donations are coming in. I will have an opportunity later on to acknowledge some of our incredibly generous donors. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our next guest. No, it's not our celebrity guest yet. You will definitely want to stick around for that, but someone very familiar and very dear to our PALS community. Please welcome Andrea Kasunik, Head of School. Welcome, Andrea. Thank you, Fred, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Andrea Kasunik, and I'm the Head of School at PALS. First and foremost, I, along with the wonderful students of PALS, want to take a moment to thank our many sponsors. Without them, tonight's event would not be possible. Our platinum sponsor, Wesco Industries, who have supported us at every one of our galas, thank you. Our gold sponsors, Art House and Visas Consulting Group, Grosvenor, Pure Integrative Pharmacy, and Reliance Insurance Agencies Limited. Thank you to all our bronze sponsors, Alexander Holborn, Fontaine Insurance Group, David Davies, Vice President at CIBC Private Wealth Management, Macmillan LLP, Poor Dad Capital, Scotia Bank, and Value on Liquor Store. To our media sponsors, Global BC and 980 CKNW. Thank you to Kareem Kamrani, real estate advisor at Rennie, for sponsoring our auctioneer, Fred Lee. And finally, to Sutton Place Hotel, where Fred is tonight presenting live. I've had the good fortune of working at Palace for over 11 years now. Every day I see firsthand how proceeds raised at the gala directly benefit the students of Pals and Pass, and I want to share a few stories with you. Just last month, the mother of a grade nine student told me that their nonverbal daughter had her first successful eye exam in 10 years. Up until now, it's been a bit of a guessing game if her prescription was correct because she couldn't identify or say the letters on the eye chart. It was so heartwarming to hear that thanks to the work of our specialized school team, she made it through the eye exam and was finally able to read and say all the letters correctly. Amazing things are happening at the PASS adult program too. Karen Tirado, the director of PASS, shared this with me the other day, virtually of course. She told me about a young gentleman who started PASS right after high school. Transitions were very hard for him and he would refuse to get out of his mom's car each morning. I wanna point out that this mom was still driving her adult son to and from daily activities, a task most parents eagerly relinquish at a much younger age. PASS staff worked carefully with this young man, teaching him to take public transit safely and now four years later, he's taking handy dart to and from pass on his own, giving both him and his mom much deserved independence. When the world essentially shut down last year, we had no idea we would still be in almost the same position today. For some of our students, this change has been earth shattering as they can't grasp why the wave pool is closed, why their grandma can't come visit, or why they sometimes have to stay home and self-isolate for two weeks. Without the cognitive capacity and executive functioning skills needed to cope in a pandemic, the result for some students has been an increase in disruptive behavior and in some cases, severe self-harm. This makes the work we do at PALS and PASS that much more important. We provide the interventions needed to help our students communicate and self-regulate in positive, non-harmful ways. 
We are providing an essential service to a vulnerable population. In a world without PALS and PASS, our students would have to stay home and they wouldn't be able to meet all their goals through online learning alone. Their parents would be challenged to work full time and simultaneously care for their extra needs. As Fred, Sophie and Caddy have all said before me, funds raised tonight from you bidding on the virtual auction, purchasing those 50-50 tickets and pledging to fund a therapy are integral to the continued operation of the school and adult program beyond the pandemic. So please continue to give and know that your generous donations really do mean the world to PALS school students and PASS adult participants because we are their world. Thank you again and up next, students, families and staff tell you in their own words what they love most about PALS. What I love most about PALS. What I love about PALS. It's really hard to just pick one thing. It's a place that always fosters growth. That it's a super caring and fun environment to be in. How resilient and amazing all of our kids are. Puppy. I love doing summer field trips. All the staff members are extremely friendly and easily approachable. Yeah, they're the best and they're great and they're beautiful. This is a team of people that have my back and are genuinely looking out for my son. It's the sense of inclusivity. It's the look of accomplishment on my students' faces. What I love most about PALS is that it never feels like a job. I just love that video from the students and staff. That was just absolutely amazing. You can't help but feel good seeing their smiling faces. Andrea, your words and those uplifting stories from the two programs are such a great reminder of all the hard and amazing work that happens there every single day. We need to do a special shout out to all the staff who have been providing an essential service even through this pandemic. Thank you. Thank you for what you are doing and you are doing so well and we know that you love what you do. Also, as Andrea and the students said, a big heartfelt thank you to all of our sponsors because we really cannot do this without you. And we can't do it without you either. Everyone that is watching our global community, clearly as I see from the chat that uh, OPA was a very popular night. We may have to bring that back. Anyways, keep sharing us your memories of past PALS galas. Please introduce yourself. Tell us where you're watching us from. And of course, most importantly, keep bidding and donating at palsgala.com. Literally, I am looking at this leaderboard and it is on fire. Thank you, Linda and John, for just upping your bids. In, this, uh, in the virtual auction. And I see the gifts coming in. I'll be announcing some of those very shortly. But as promised, it is now my absolute pleasure to introduce to you a very special celebrity guest. See if you can guess. He is a Vancouver born Canadian treasure. He's an actor a writer, a producer, director, and even an entrepreneur. On top of all that, did you know, well, of course you wouldn't know, but we know it's his birthday today. Do you know who it is? We are beyond thrilled that this individual took the time to share a special message with all of us, the PALS community. Everyone, Please welcome Seth Rogen. Hi, I'm Seth Rogen, and I'm honored to be speaking about the amazing work that PALS is doing in my hometown of Vancouver. During a time that has been unimaginable for so many over the last year, the support places like PALS provides is important, and even more so during this absolutely bonkers global pandemic. One of my very best friends discovered their child was autistic recently, and uh, the people at PALS helped him on his journey. People like him need places like PALS. It's an incredible resource that makes a real difference in people's lives. This year has been a real bummer for around 10 million different reasons, and we need to support each other now more than ever. PALS makes a difference. So donate now, or you're an asshole. I think I wasn't supposed to swear, 
but I did. That's just how serious I am. Thanks for being here, and please don't be an asshole. Give generously to pals. Thank you so much. Seth Rogen, everyone. Thank you, Seth. And of course, happy birthday from everyone at PALS. Thank you so much for taking the time to share that very uh, special message with us and our PALS community. Wow. I see someone thought it was Ryan Reynolds. I thought it was better than Ryan Reynolds. Anyways, uh, Seth, thank you again for being a PALS champion. So I guess if you haven't donated yet, you will want to go ahead and do that right now, or you're, a, according to Seth, a you-know-what. I'm not sure I can say it, but he said it very well. You don't want to be that you-know-what. Uh, absolutely amazing. Thank you again, Seth, for your support. Uh, you heard it from the man's mouth. The work that PALS does really matters, and the impact of its work is felt far and wide. You really never know who has been affected directly or indirectly, which makes it that much more important that we press forward. This school, your school, is needed. Tonight, you can, sh you can make sure that PALS continues on its mission of providing year-round, scientifically validated educational programs. Yes, you can do this by supporting us right now. Please go to palsgala.com, buy a raffle ticket, bid once again on your favorite auction items, or simply make a gift. We invite you to tell us what inspires you to give to PALS and PASS. Seeing from that leaderboard, many of you have already made those gifts. Thank you so much. We are going to acknowledge many of you shortly. Why do you support the cause? Perhaps you would like to share with our PALS community. <laughs> they are so thankful to have pals. I can see that. Yes, please tell us. <laughs> People are still commenting on Seth. Yes, Seth. I did meet Seth at an airport once. I was so awestruck that it was actually Seth Rogen. I believe his hair looked exactly like it did in that video. I must have followed him from gate to gate to gate, hoping to get a picture, a selfie, or just to say hello. But admittedly, I was a little too uh, shy. I know it's hard to believe, me shy, but yes. Anyways, uh, what inspires you to give? Perhaps you would like to share that with us or share your thoughts on our chatter feed. Okay. I'm told by my team here the 50-50 is closing in mere minutes. So please, if you've not done so, buy your tickets now. I'm not sure what the jackpot is at, but last we checked, it was at 22,000. Let's get that up a little higher. This is officially your last call. All right. I've been watching the leaderboard, and I just want to say thank you again. I love watching all the bids and all the donations that are coming in. As mentioned, our goal tonight is 200,000. From the uh, leaderboard, I see we're almost at $180,000. Let's keep them coming in. I have to say, I'm also super excited about the uh, two Air Canada tickets because yes, I, like you, am dreaming of travel. Again, one of the incredible items available on our virtual online auction. Uh, we want to give a big thank you to Air Canada Foundation for their generosity and their donation. Your support of Canadian charities focused on improving children's health and well-being is so important, especially now. Not only with these tickets uh, will fly you, but they will also fly a guest anywhere that Air Canada flies in North America. That, of course, includes Hawaii, Mexico, and the Caribbean. Uh, I'm told we have folks watching us from Cabo San Lucas. We have folks watching us from the Bahamas. If you need a return trip back home, perhaps this is the package you will want to bid on. Uh, personally, I'm partial to Hawaii, one of our favorite destinations, but that's just me. Uh, this travel package also comes with two pieces of Tumi luggage, so you're going to travel in style. It's a large 28-inch case plus an international carry-on. So please bid 
and again, bit often. All right. Anyone dreaming of uh, destinations in the near future? Please share that on the chat feed as well. And hopefully uh, we can acknowledge some of you a little later on. Okay. We are now going to change gears a little to give you a little more time to get those bids in on the board. We felt it was important uh, for you to hear from parents at PALS directly. So for the past 14 years, PALS has been there for BC families. Families desperately searching for schooling options for their children on the autism spectrum. Transformative and life-changing are just a few words to describe what PALS Autism Schools has meant for these families. Here to tell you in their own words, please welcome our parents. We felt like we were in this terrible position of having to choose on behalf of our son whether he would be properly educated or whether he would be socialized and have friends and that was a heartbreaking choice for me i've only known that i have to fight for my kids I have to be their voice and we were having difficulty finding the right community for aaron well he was nonverbal Actually, Rob said to me at one point, I wonder if he'll ever speak. When you don't have the tool of language to teach and to relate to your own child, it's, it's really difficult to know what's going on for them and to explain to them what's going on. Casey is, is challenged with transitioning to adulthood. She, you know, she's mentioned that she wants to go back in time and she's been struggling with understanding what growing up really means. What I love most about PALS. The adult program has provided a real sense of community for Erin, a sense of inclusion. The enthusiasm from the staff they can really nurture who he is. And he's finding himself. He became more independent with schoolwork. They're, they're learning job skills. She has friends who she really looks forward to seeing. They're excited to see her. Having a school like PALS is great because they can develop those skills that they're really good at without having to stress them out about the things that they're unable to do. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to see her walk off the bus with a big smile on her face and when we ask her about her day, she's smiling again, giving us two thumbs up. The most important thing I can say about PALS is that I know that PALS is Dex's best bet to learn what he needs to lead his most independent life. The future is unknown. It's unknown for all of us, even if we don't have autism. That's what creates maybe lots of anxiety for all of us. But the thing is, at least I know I am doing my best. And part of that is choosing PALS as, you know, not only Keon School, but our new family. I, I see it as more, more than a school. Wow, if that doesn't just get you a little choked up. It is so touching and heartfelt. Having both education and socialization with friends is something that so many of us take for granted. Thank you everyone. Thank you to our parents, loved ones, caregivers. Thank you so much for sharing your stories. It truly reaffirms why we are gathered here tonight. Again, I'm just so encouraged, so, um, my heart is just well, so warm by the chatter that continues on the feed. Please tell us what PALS means to you. 
PALS has been a champion for BC families and will continue to do so with your support. So many have benefited from PALS and PASS. Tonight, we can offer that hope to others. Help other children and families access life-changing education. If you have not made a donation yet this evening, now is your chance. This is the fund a therapy portion of the evening an opportunity for the PALS community, for you to create some magic and make a difference. Very shortly, I will be inviting all of you at home to make a gift. I will read out varying giving levels that correspond to donation levels at palsgala.com. If you can, we encourage you to use a separate device or your phone to go to palsgala.com right now. You can also use your phone's camera function to scan the QR code. On the website, you're gonna see Fund a Therapy listed in the navigation or menu panel, panel. Look for the level for which you would like to donate and please select that option now. We have opportunities ranging from $10,000 to $2,500 to $100 and a whole lot more. If you don't see a level that corresponds with your interest, select option number 10, and enter the amount which you would like to donate. Once again, no gifts are too big or too small. Every dollar counts. And we don't want to disappoint our, our good friend, Seth. Remember, you don't want to be that. Mm -hmm. okay. Again, a reminder, all donations are eligible for a tax receipt. Of course, you will benefit come tax time, and PALS will benefit starting tonight. Our goal for this fund the therapy portion alone, just the fund the therapy portion of the evening is $100,000, $100,000. I am always in awe of how generous this community is. And I have absolutely no doubt, we will not just meet, but exceed this goal. Okay, before we begin, I do have a very special announcement to share. I have just been told that someone in our community, someone who is watching right now, who is extremely passionate about PALS and our cause this evening, has generously offered to provide us with a matching gift for, th for Fund of Therapy. They're inviting all of us to join them in supporting PALS and PASS, and will match every dollar donated in their Fund of Therapy up to $50,000. I hope you're making some noise at home. We are certainly making some noise right here. That is truly amazing. Thank you to our generous family who is watching. I know you can't see the studio team in front of me right now, but they are doing some social distance dancing. All right. Thank you again to our incredibly generous angel, our matching donor. Uh, we know you're viewing, and on behalf of the PALS community and everyone in this room, thank you for your kindness and your trust in what PALS does for BC families. Here we go. We are going to start at the $10,000 level. I am going to look to the leaderboard to see if there are any gifts at $10,000. At the $10,000 level, you will be helping uh, provide a behavior intervention plan and parent training for a student who needs support overcoming challenging behaviors. Do we have any gifts at $10,000? Yes, I see we have our first pledge from the Iranian Canadian Benevolent Foundation, $10,000. We have $10,000 from Michael Noss, $10,000. That is amazing. I'm just looking at the leaderboard. We have $10,000 from Peter Chan. Peter Chan, thank you so much, $10,000. What a great start. Another $10,000 from Karash Rafi. $10,000, that's already four. Do we have any more gifts at $10,000? What a fantastic start. 
That is truly amazing. All right, I wish you could see our volunteer who is just busily trying to write out all the names for me to read out. I will do my best to read them as well. Just a reminder, if you wish to be anonymous, you are more than welcome to be anonymous as well. Our next level now is $5,000. $5,000 will fund a job coach for a young adult for one year. $5,000. Do we have any angels who are willing to make a gift at $5,000? Yes. Linda DeLuca and Bill Alexander, $5,000. Jen and Dave Gunasakra, $5,000. That is amazing. David and Denise Yuri, $5,000. That is amazing. This leaderboard is lighting up our volunteers. Kelly Kerr, $5,000. That is amazing. Michelle Tom, $5,000. That's already $20,000. Guess what, folks? We've already met our donor match. That is truly phenomenal. Keep them coming. Yes, we have an anonymous donor of $5,000. That's amazing. Oh, it's an anonymous donor times one, times two, times three. Three anonymous donors at $5,000. That is amazing. Thank you everyone we've already raised seventy-five thousand dollars not to mention our generous matching donor let's keep them coming everyone look at that ticker go up we're over two hundred and thirty thousand our next level is twenty five hundred dollars twenty five hundred dollars will provide 20 hours of social skills classes Sometimes I think I need those classes, my husband would say, but 20 hours of social skills classes led by a speech therapist, uh, giving our pals and past kids the chance to make real friendships, something most of us take for granted. $2,500. Do we have any gifts of $2,500? I'm looking at the leaderboard. Yes. Thank you to the Magsut family for their gift, $2,500. Helen Nicolau, $2,500. Ladin Asami, $2,500. Keep them coming in. Terry Christopher, $2,500. That's another $10,000. Linda Gibbs, thank you so much. $2,500. That is amazing. Um, any more gifts at 2,500? That was another $12,500. Look at that Fund of Therapy total. We're up to 191, 243 just on Fund of Therapy. Amazing! All right. Uh, we have a gift from Tamara Standerwick, $2,000. Thank you so much. Angela Grams, she's made a gift of $3,000. Thank you, Angela. That is amazing. I see Shirley Thompson, $2,000. Any denomination that you feel inspired to give, please do so. As we said, no gifts are too big or too small. Uh, let's move on. I think our next level is $1,000. $1,000 will support nine hours of occupational therapy. That is therapy that could help a student learn to write their name, learn to use the playground, or plan out their day. Uh, $1,000 will support many in their endeavors, and we have a list of donors at $1,000. Okay, here we go. First off, thank you to Peter Blake, $1,000. David Jang, $1,000. Susie Wong, $1,000. Oh, my good friend Anuja Varshney, hello, $1,000. Bruce St. John, $1,000. Thank you to Cynthia Cook. I saw Cynthia earlier online. Cynthia Cook, $1,000. Christine Shields, $1,000. Angela B. Hello, Angela. I know Angela. A thousand dollars. 
Rita Gobin, $1,000. This leaderboard is lighting up. Reynold Lee, $1,000. Amazing. Stephanie Williams, $1,000. Oh, how I miss these guys. We'll have them back in person. Our Burnaby Firefighters a Charitable Foundation, they've made a gift of $1,000. I've just been told, Vincent and Lillian Tong, thank you so much for your generous gift, $1,500. <laughs> Calvin Wong, thank you so much, $1,000, just on the leaderboard. This is amazing, everyone. Are you doing a happy dance? I am doing a happy dance. This is amazing. Keep those gifts coming in. All right, our next level is $500. Now, I'm sure we can get a few donors at this level, and I already see we have. $500 will provide the transportation needed to safely go on summer field trips, like a physically distanced hike around Belcara Park. Outings can be extremely difficult for families when they don't have an extra set of hands. So let's help them get on these adventures with their friends and pals and past teachers. All right. Greg and Michelle Pollock, thank you so much for your gift, $500. Stella Shung, $500. Michael Watt, $500. Cynthia and Stu Moltman, $500. I know you've been busy on the chat feed. Uh, the Tahari family, thank you, $500. From San Francisco, our friends in San Francisco, the Bay City, Payam Tabar, $500. And then we have Miriam Malikyazdi and family, $500. Mohammed and Susan Khan, $500. Patrick Harrington, $500. Graham Coots, $500. Azar Perdad, $500. John Hu, $500. Uh, that writing is way too small. Mary Jang, $500. Our poor volunteers, their penmanship is getting a little, <laughs> a little shoddy with the evening. That's okay. Uh, Fouad Rafi, $500. Uh, Mike Hurley, $500. I do recognize that name. Of course, that is his worship the mayor of Burnaby. Thank you so much, your worship, for tuning in. $500. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, let's keep them coming in. Keep them coming in. Our next level is $250. $250 will give a nonverbal child a voice. That's about the cost of a speech generating app on iPad used to promote communications. $200. I mean, $250 to give a nonverbal child a voice, that is almost priceless. Please, if you've yet to make a gift, here's your opportunity to do so. $250, and there goes the board again. Norman Jacobuic, thank you so much for your just donated $250. Thank you to Linda Mari, $250. Karen Weedmeyer, $250. Heather Delane, $250. Parvin Yaganagi and family, $250. Thank you to Glenn Lawfer, $250. Layla Farabakish, thank you, $250. This is absolutely amazing. Just keep those gifts coming in. All right, one more level. $100. $100 will be contributing to the cost of much needed school supplies. Things like toys for teaching play skills, cooking materials, gym equipment, and all kinds of books. Individualized teaching means we need a lot of school supplies. So please, if you can spare $100, make that gift now. Look at that. We're almost at $190. 5,000 in fund of therapy alone. Can we get that to 200,000? Please make those gifts now. Here we go. Thank you, Alan Chim, $100. <laughs> Stephen Anthony, $100. All the way from Hamilton, Ontario, the Meckley family. Thank you so much, $100.
You must be all cozy in bed in your PJs. Thank you so much for staying up. Uh, no John Abrari, a hundred dollars. Ian Yu, a hundred dollars. Cheryl Araki, a hundred dollars. Thank you so much, everyone. We have many anonymous gifts at a hundred dollars. Keep them coming in and we will do our best to continue uh, to acknowledge all of our benefactors. Thank you so much, Candy. I just saw Candy, a hundred dollars. Lindsay Porter, a hundred dollars. Tim Kala, five hundred dollars. Keep them coming in, everyone. Look at that ticker go. All right, our volunteers. What are we doing? What? Oh, oh. I just want to make sure I'm reading this correctly. I am told that the Harandi family. Yes. Okay. My volunteers are trying to get my attention. Uh, we just have another incredible donation come in. We just learned that a donation of $30,000 has just come in from the Harandi family. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much for alerting me. $30,000, that ticker is gonna go up. Um, truly amazing. Wow, thank you to all of our generous donors, all of you. That was an amazing fund of therapy. Uh, once again, a giant thank you to um, our generous matching donor who got the party started. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, glad to see we didn't leave any money on the table. And of course, to everyone near and far who participated. Wow, you truly are affecting the lives of so many and shaping the futures of these individuals to come. All right, we're gonna look at the total on the screen. As you see, like we do, we're at 195, 743 in the fund of therapy. Uh, the kindness is infectious and is absolutely incredible. Okay, I'm going to catch my breath. While I do so, it is absolutely my pleasure to turn it over once again to my co-host, Sophie Louie. Well, I hope you're enjoying the evening so far and thank you again for your generosity. Up next, students from PALS Autism Society School Program will be singing for us their rendition of Louis Armstrong's What a Wonderful World. Teachers noticed grade three student Kayan was always singing this inspiring song to himself and they thought, why not teach it to his schoolmates so the song's wonderful message could be shared with all of you tonight. But it's a pretty big task to do that. When PALS students prepare for school performances, it's not just about learning words to songs or lines in a script. The students start by learning the new material in intensive one-on-one -on -one teaching sessions before they're brought together to further learn how to perform alongside their peers. Singing in unison or waiting for their part are skills that may not come easily for a person with autism. If a student is nonverbal or has minimal vocal language, they have to learn new sign language signs or word approximations, and that can sometimes take months to acquire and involve consultation with a speech therapist. For students who have a little extra energy, they need to learn to stand in their places. Keeping their bodies and brains in the group is the motto for the busy bees and wandering minds at PALS. Other students need to learn to tolerate the change to their daily class schedule in order to accommodate practice times as rigidity and resistance to change in routine can be a common characteristic of autism. So please keep all of those factors in mind as you watch the students perform tonight. Knowing the level of effort and time they put into this, I'm sure you're all in for a spectacular performance.
clouds so white, the brightless day. The dark secret night, and I did to myself. What a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow. Wow. Thank you for that heartfelt performance. What a wonderful world indeed. I just love the creative workaround the producers came up with so that the students could safely follow physical distancing measures and as well put on that beautiful number. And by producers, I mean our dedicated pals, classroom teachers, and of course, Rebecca and Toro. Amazing work as always, ladies. Thank you. And thank you. The generosity displayed tonight has been absolutely incredible. Overwhelming for our first ever virtual gala. Thank you to our PALS community near and far. The gifts simply keep coming in. We have a gifts from Catherine Urquhart. Thank you so much, Catherine. Peter Burks, Roxanne. Uh, Lindsay, Tim Kala, thank you, thank you, thank you. Not only did you show up this evening, you all stepped up. Before we announce what you have helped raise tonight, and I can't wait to get that number, a final reminder that the online auction is still open. It closes at 9.30 p.m. So if you were being strategic, and I know many of you are, about placing your bids, can I just tell you the time is now. And what a wonderful night. Thank you again to our event sponsors, our event partners, auction donors, and of course the Armchair Gala Committee, and most importantly, you for making tonight so special. I just wanna thank the small army of volunteers here, Focus AV and others, who have welcomed me with open arms and have ensured the safety of everyone in this room. Thank you. Okay, the moment we have been waiting for, I'm going to turn to my uh, volunteers and you're going to tell me uh, how much has been raised tonight at our first ever Virtual Pals Gala. Can I have a drum roll, please? Because of you, we have raised more than $360,000. More than $360,000 gross. That is absolutely amazing. <laughs> if you're looking on the screen, that number is uh, trying to catch up with our controller in the room who's been adding up all the various um, pots of funds. Uh, it is uh, what I've just learned 
that right now, the amount that we just raised, more than 360,000 gross and climbing, it equals the most that we've raised in person. That is amazing! <laughs> Woo! Thank you so much. All right. I hope you're all doing a happy dance. Everyone here is. And uh, again, keep those donations coming in. Keep those bids coming in. Um, and while you're doing all that, I think I have some more exciting news. And I know many of you are waiting for this. Uh, We're going to find out who the raffle winner is. Okay, here we go. Uh, so hopefully you've got your tickets and your numbers. I'm going to read out the winning ticket number. All right. Someone is going to go home with a lot of cash in their pocket. Perhaps you'd like to just feel like giving some of that back to pals. Uh, no pressure. Uh, first of all, the 50-50 pot ended up being $23,860. $23,860. And so my better math tells me that the winner is taking home almost $12,000. $11,000. $930 to be exact. And if I call your number, uh, our volunteers will be in touch and we will ensure that uh, we get you that cash. Drum roll, please. Here we go. The winning ticket is one, two, zero, one, eight, seven, one, two, zero, one, eight, seven. You've just won $11,930. I'll read that number one more time. Have a look at your tickets. The lucky ticket number is one, two, zero, one, eight, seven. Congratulations. Our volunteer has just heard from the, the, the winning uh, ticket holder, and that individual has just texted back or called back, however they did it. Wow. They are donating the, their part of the winnings back to PALS. Oh my goodness. 120187, whoever you are, thank you, thank you, thank you. 120187 is all of a sudden my favorite number. That is awesome. All right, everyone. Um, as our evening comes to an end, a reminder again that the online auction closes at 9.30. And if you want a memento of this fabulous evening, please continue to make those bids. If you are the successful bidder, our volunteers will be in touch to share details of how the items will be safely delivered to you. I also just want to take this opportunity to thank our incredible sponsors and each of you who took the time to join us this evening, bid on auction items, purchased the raffle ticket, and of course, made a donation. Thank you to the staff, the students, and families of the two programs for giving your all every single day, and especially during these incredibly difficult times. And of course, thank you to the PALS Gala Committee and all the amazing volunteers who helped put this event together tonight and made it such a success. More than 360,000 and counting. Uh, thank you again to our small but mighty team in the studio for making me feel so welcome and again, keeping us safe. Hopefully we can come together in the near future. I'll, until then, thank you, PALS community. You did it again. So in closing, I turn it over to the students who would like to share their appreciation. On behalf of everyone in the room at the Sutton Place Hotel, I'm Fred Lee. On behalf of Sophie, Seth, Katy, and Andrea, have a great night. Bye. Bye.